I love the project and the challenge of helping a country to raise its vision of what's possible. I'm head coaching Israel since 2017. And I think we've been doing that steadily. And I think right now the, the Israeli team's on a good trajectory forward toward Olympic medals. There's also some very talented swimmers in Israel right now that are, that are fortunately choosing to train well. And so being a part of that is very important. Start where you were last week and improve from there. That's the goal of this morning. So. Oh. <laughs> so basically, what I love in this job is you create the tools to give the opportunity to athletes to become better. I'm not doing the job for them. My job is to understand how to give them the best tool to achieve their goal. One of the things I love about coaching is being creative. I'm a, I'm a left-handed, right-brained, ADD, crazy thinking coach. So they call me the mad scientist back in the United States because I'm always trying to tinker with things. So sometimes we'll break our practices into circuits. And we'll take little chunks and we'll focus uh, on one particular action. With our first station, our morning circuit. Uh, after the warm up in the water, we move into the, into the yoga. We are warming up the muscle to manage the body position in the water. The next station is going to be about diving, so we want them to be ready in the core management. We're doing yoga with our uh, yoga master from India, and it's a station of 20 minutes warming up and positioning the muscles. We are at the second station, yeah. like uh, dive and relay change what? with the uh, Israeli coach Eud. Yeah. He is in charge of this. We are seeing now Marius Kush going with the, with the dive, simple dive. And all the former after the yoga, they're going to the here and they're trying to achieve the best dive possible. We are now in the in the flume. This is the this is the main toy of the center. We have groups working on different uh, strokes. We have at the moment the best three of the best backstroker in the world uh, working on the pace, pure pace on backstroke. We have the advantage to using this part that can allow the swimmers to see where they are. They can manage their speed. They can manage their control. Uh, of course, I love the flume, so I stay in the flume and I'm talking to the kids about adjusting some stroke techniques and mechanics. Every little pull, a little bit more accelerated. Nice. Every little pull, a little stronger, a little stronger. Station number four, we are doing efficiency. So using the stretch board and the blocks and letting them in interact with each other. They are working the transformation from the speed underwater using the speed on the breakout and be able to hold a good, a good stroke. In this case, it's a couple work. One person is outside of the water holding the elastic, the other one is swimming, as you will see. And the next drill, it's gonna be in combination with the wall using some slings. Fifth station, it's, we're working out underwater. Uh, through the 4D Pro that we use uh, here on the dryland area. We have the athletes exercising the, the body position and the kick on fly. Once they finish on the dryland, they go immediately in the water and they're practicing the same movement. These are things that during a circuit, we try to make sure that we get in and in a creative way so that you know, Coach Luca and, and Coach Hanan and, and Javi, my assistant back in San Diego that's with me, they're able to give their personal instruction in their own way to, to give their flair to what they can, how they can improve in different pieces of swimming. And that's what 
when we break into circuits, that's what that's all about. My name is Anand Semalti. I'm coming from Himalayas, practicing yoga from as long as I can remember myself. The freedom of the body is the freedom of the mind. And the freedom of the mind is the freedom of the spirit. And that's what we are seeing, that we are more feeling more comfortable in our body, that we are more comfortable and concentrated into the mind, and so do that we can feel what is the real goal of our life is. Always, when I speak with Anand, I like to say that I'm his translator. Like, his vision, it's very unclear for our Western, very shallow world. His vision is based on improving ourselves, and we are going completely opposite direction in our society. So it's very often not well interpreted or wrong interpreted, and my skills are in translating this. So how I met him was pure random, going to yoga, then our wife, you know, like started dealing, and for us was very simple, and now since three years we are family. We, we live close to each other and... But again, I never involved him in swimming until seven months ago because we are doing a serious job, we can do stuff, we cannot put the swimmers in front of a risk or put the swimmers in front of a random situation. I needed to test at him, I need to see results and need to understand how to use it. And at this point I said, okay, even if it's before Olympics, we're doing improvement of the human body, we're not doing technique. And personally is something very interesting and in swimming wise we need to improve and understand better how to use it. But yeah, it was very casual meeting and then became. At the beginning I didn't understand anything. It was I needed to practice, like everything. When you practice, you understand. That's what the mind of our society becomes, that yoga is something re religious thing. But the origin of yoga is to understand properly yourself. It's not about the religion. If I cannot understand myself, how can I understand the God or something? What is religious people talking about? So of course this was a, always a difficult to open themselves because they are living in a modern world, modern society and then they are becoming a holistic approach in their practice, what is the modern science not accept in that way. It was, it was difficult but after two, three days of practice when they start feeling better in their body, suddenly their breath are more calm, they are more uh, having more stamina in their self and the lactate, you know, especially this lactate system is more balanced, they can balance it. Yes, they can more take the more higher oxygen in their blood. So this was like opening themselves like wow. And even though this was a funny thing when we were taking first time lactate, I could say you have 16 and you have 14, you have 17. He said, how you know we not even taken? This was exactly the way. He said, yes, I can see your breath. So Luca was telling me like some points like how the lactate goes when they are doing and how much stroke they do, how much stamina it is working. So I was calculating, I was like, you will have 14 because your breath are like this. And, and this was like, they was impressed like, wow, you are a magician, how you can know that? It's like, I'm guessing just. The three big things they need is number one, they need to be, have a mindset for the Olympic medal, Olympic podium. That's what we want, that's the culture of the team. Uh, even if they haven't been on the podium, we want them understanding their, their job is to move toward the podium. Uh, number two is they need to contribute to the group. So they can be only, they, they need to be positive contributors. So if they have a good mindset, they have good attitude, they work hard, they come to practice all the time, that helps. Thirdly, they need to be good role models for little kids because we, we, team, we, are, we align with clubs. In San Diego, we, we align with Coronado Swim Association Team Elite. That's the club team that's under Team Elite. And Team Elite, the job is to inspire the younger kids to reach the next level. And that's why I have Marsh Swim Academy on Instagram where I put a lot of my drills. We want to share with the world and with kids what they can do to get better. Don't think that they will swim in, in 20 years, the times they will be destroyed. We are not even at that point where we have, we have an evolution in swimming. We're gonna change the swimming world. So, but we don't know how. We, we are very, you know, like very simple. So it will take time when some money will be around. Step by step. Step by step. We are not in a rush. We can enjoy now. It's a good job to enjoy. <laughs>